Okay, so we're going to try something a little different today. I'm going to try solar dyeing <laughs> with some Kool-Aid. Now I say solar dyeing in quotes because it's miserable at the moment. Um, we're heading towards winter, so well, autumn. So it's miserable, so it's not going to be solar dyeing, but I will just stick it by a radiator and see what happens. So uh, let's get our dye mixed up. So I'm going to use the Kool-Aid. I'm using the grape, which I have used before for something else. And I know it's a very, uh, I don't really like the, the, the purple that it gives. It's kind of a grayish tone. But that is fine because um, I am going to use blue as well after this one. And I will show you what I mean. So you can see that I've got a cake behind there. So we'll do the technique again where we unravel this and ravel it back up into a different cake. So we'll try and get that in there without scolding ourselves yet. Let's unravel it a little bit. Oh. Okay, so none of this has been soaked. <coughs> Probably should have, but never mind. So I've got the silk scarf that's kind of an off, it's kind of a yellowy creamy colour. Well, as you can see, I've done a reverse there with some elastic bands, so we'll see how that turns out. Nice tie-dye. And then I've tied some knots in this lace. So we'll do and see how that turns out. I've just, and then I've just got some plain lace and this stuff, which I really like, the way that dyes. So we'll see how that comes out on the grape. <laughs> oh no, no, that's even better. Let's try it again. Oh. Push it all around. I'm not going to add any vinegar because I shouldn't need to. This uh, has citric acid in it <coughs> already, so it should act as our. Uh, acidic, what do you call it? Binding agent? I'm not quite sure. But that should help the colour to bind to our uh, fabrics. So, here we go. I've already got a sort of ombre thing happening here. That might uh, change as everything sort of settles, but we shall see. I'll put this to one side and I will give you an update at some point and then I'll just take everything out, let it dry, re-cake the yarn and then do the glue. So that's the first step ready. <laughs>
Okay, so this is everything all finished up. So I rewound the cake and put it in the blue. And um, this time what I did was I put a little bit of the blue, I mixed up the blue in a jug. I put a little bit in the jar and I put these laces and other things in the bottom because they didn't seem to get much colour being at the top. Um, and then I put the cake in and then I poured more of the blue over the top. Also I undid the knots in this one. Um, I think I repositioned the elastic on this one or I might have just left it as it was because there wasn't much purple on it so I just put it back in so you can see and then I've um washed oh, sorry I'm blocking the light there you go so you can just see the blue on there and this I didn't put this back in because it was quite pink um, this didn't take up any colour, really. There's a little bit of fluff in there. But yeah, it didn't really take up any colour, so that's interesting. This is very pink. Uh, there's some yellow in there, which is strange. don't know if that's transferred from something else, or... <clears throat> if it's just a colour that's separated from the mix. I have washed all these as well. You've seen that. I just pop that in. But yeah, this is a nice interesting yarn. We've got some lovely... This purple actually came out nicer than um, the dye itself. We've still got some of that dark greyish purple, but it's only in, in spots, which is nice. It gives it a bit of variation. But it's this pinkish. I don't know if you can really see it in this light. But it's like a pinkish grey. With the blue. In there. So yeah. Cool aid. Definitely fun to try. Um, and I will probably be playing with it a little bit more. In the future. So I hope you enjoyed watching. And I will see you again soon. Bye bye.